Hi guys, Dan Hendrickson here. We are up at the Forest of Arden week before the English Open and I thought I'd bring to you today a little insight into how Paul is going to prepare himself each day. So going through his warm-up before he goes out and plays the golf course. Let's, uh, let's head over to Paul and have a little uh, catch up with him. Paul, oh, we are at the Forest of Arden. Yes. It's nearly game time. Get in there, isn't it? It's not far away now. So I want to sort of share with everybody what sort of preparation you do prior to going out and playing. So what are we going to be looking at? Obviously coming to the golf course to start with, you know, just before each round. Yep. How, how long are you sort of taking to sort of prepare yourself before you get out onto the first tee? Be anywhere between hour and hour and a half. Okay. Um, it depends on the the place you're at, the facility, what they've got, yeah. um, where the location of the putting greens, chipping greens, range is. Uh, yeah. Sometimes there's always a, a big trek to the range. Um, sometimes the putting greens are all dotted around. So it depends a lot on on what the facilities uh, have, yeah. and, and then you kind of you plot a strategy based on that of what you're going to do. But I think the key is you don't want to get too early. You don't want to be too late and rush in. So it's trying to trying to get an even balance really. Okay. And we're going to be staying on site, aren't we, for this event? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, at the Marriott Hotel, yeah. which is just literally to our over here, over just behind us there. Yeah. What what sort of thoughts are you doing? So let's say you're teeing off at, like later on the first day. So yeah. which I think happened at the BMW, didn't it? We yeah. teed off sort of around two thirty, three o'clock, let's say. Yeah. What? How do you, how do you prepare yourself for that? Because obviously being on site is very easy to sneak out and go and do a bit of practice or go and warm up a bit early you know what 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 are we going to be doing I don't know um, we're gonna to have to come up with a plan um, yeah. I don't think you want to be out like you say beating balls too much yeah. and tiring yourself out um, I think I would definitely stick to an hour hour and a half beforehand yeah um, and then try and find something to do occupy the time in the morning I mean if if you're struggling on your game or something or something you want to work on you could you could do a practice session in in the morning yeah um, occupy your time that way then have a break some lunch or something or go and do something else yeah and then start your start your preparation again as you normally would on a normal round so just roll in a few parts is this yep. the first port call generally yeah I like to try and give myself two putting sessions right okay. so I'll do First thing I'll usually come to the putting green, just roll, usually I use one ball. Yeah. Um, it's a better way of getting speed. A lot of people roll two, three balls, but I think that just confuses your speed element. So just give yourself one chance at everything on the putting green as you do out on the golf course. Yeah. Um, I'll do that for probably 10 minutes. Yeah. Just a, just an initial warm up putting, just get a feel for the greens. Um, and, then, and then walk over and maybe start hitting some balls um, after that. And just all you're doing really is just trying to get the speed of the greens. They're going to change from day to day usually yep. um, and certainly from course to course. So it's really good to give yourself as many sort of different sessions rather than spending 20 minutes in one session. Yeah. I'd like to do two 10 minute sessions, break it up. So you get, you've given yourself two speed feels really for the day. So would you say that you're practicing? No. Not you're not really. practicing really are you thinking about your stroke in any way or is it something if, if you're not happy with it and there's something you've been working on then you could do but ideally you'd come here with everything already done and, and happy with your stroke so um, it's more of a feel trying to just get the feel in your fingers trying to get a, a, an understanding of what the greens are playing like um, and just trying to go around with one golf ball just trying to get get an indication of what it's going to be like for the rest of the day So it doesn't look like you're 
well you're not holding anything out you're just literally going around one hole to the next hole to the next hole yeah i'm just just working on speed control here at the moment just trying different distances um, uphill downhill i'm not really lining it up um, and really reading the putt but i'm just trying to read this the speed and get a feel for the speed so if they're not going in that's fine i just want to get them up sort of pin high or get the right speed dialed in yeah um, and then obviously when you get out on the golf course you start reading them properly and giving yourself giving themselves chances of holding them made our way over to the range then yeah so you've started on the putting green now move to the range what where does it start from here then when you go into the golf bag uh I'll start low down yeah so we'll start with the lob wedge probably hit five six seven shots with that yeah uh, and then we will work up to the probably pitching wedge tend to go every other iron okay so probably go um go, uh, lob wedge pitching wedge then eight iron six iron up to four iron and then generally hit um sort of forward uh, sort of rescue and all the woods yeah uh, three wood and, and driver um work my way up to driver then maybe hit a couple of little wedges at the end just to just to sort of wind things down rather than leaving it on a full full whack driver. That's the... And what are you trying to achieve now when you're warming up, should we say? Are you keeping an eye on golf swing? Are you now just focusing on what the ball flight is doing? How how what's going through your mind? It's it's mostly getting the body moving. Yeah. Just getting getting used to hitting the shots um, for that day. Yeah. Um, I'm certainly trying not to work on the swing. I think you play your best golf when you're not working on any technical stuff. Yeah. Um, and and I will be I will be looking at ball flight. I will be assessing how I'm hitting it. Yeah. But I've learned over the years that actually how you hit on the range generally has no correlation to how you're hitting out on the golf course. It's it's a different. It just feels a slightly different golf swing out on the golf course when there's pressure on you and etc. etc. Et yeah. So I don't take too much notice. There's a lot of times I've hit the ball horrendous on the range and then got out on the golf course and hit it well and, and vice versa. And vice really. versa, yeah. So, so yeah, you don't want to read too much into it, but I think the main thing is getting the body moving, getting used to hitting the shots and, and just trying to warm up properly, really. What happens if you do find something? You know, you get out there and you start hitting it a little bit different to what you kind of liking should we say yeah i mean if, if you found that you were maybe uh, hitting too much of a draw that day i think you've got to make a decision on the golf course whether you go with that or you try and rectify it um, i think most of the time you'll probably just play with what you've got that day and then yeah. get get in from the round and maybe come on the range after and then try try and work on trying to figure it out for next time yeah um, i think it can be quite dangerous trying to work on technique or trying to correct too much out on the golf course i think you've just got to go with what you got that day really bit of a technical one for you yeah and um because my swing path is very close to zero okay on a yeah. normal position like i might be one degree into out on yeah. the occasion yeah. if i just swing it normally in the studio yeah sometimes i can get on the golf course or on the range yeah. and start hitting a fade one day yeah. or a draw one day yeah for me i work with that so i will literally stand up there and try and play a fade for the rest of the day because that's what i've seen maybe on the range is yeah. that any are you like that or are you more are you more I'm into more, out if you're, if you're uh, i'm slightly more into out i think i've always sort of hit a draw yeah. unless i've gone for a spell where i'm trying to purposely fade it but it's a lot of work for me to fade the ball i've yeah. got to kind of do a lot of exaggerations in my swing to make it happen so yeah. Um, I'm generally with a draw and it's, a, it's about for me how much it's drawing um, and then I'm, I'm sort of working that out on the range more than if it's going left to right or right to left. I've, I've never had that problem of left to right too much. So I suppose the last little bit that I've got mm -hmm. for it is when we were at Wentworth playing yeah. in the BMW, yeah. you had obviously got your gappings with all your clubs kind of right and you started mm -hmm. messing about with the tour van and getting some different clubs that you were mm -hmm. playing with yeah and then before you knew it you were on track man <laughs> getting some numbers now yeah. what again what is the idea of that why are you getting now then on track man once you've got all your numbers back mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. um is it because of the the weather change mm -hmm. and things like that how, how how does it how do you think it was a it was a great um opportunity to try out trackman with proper pro v's yeah. obviously the range that i'm at it's uh, it's a range ball which gets then normalized into a pro v on the on the data yeah um so it's never it's never completely spot on so to actually get a chance to go on a range with pro v's and get the trackman on it to, to monitor your numbers is just a great opportunity obviously i'd like to have had that opportunity a long time before yeah. to, to get prepared better but 
that was my only real option to get Pro V's on a range. Um, so it was a good opportunity to get some some fresh numbers um, as well. Something we're going to do this 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 week? Uh, depends. Depends if the if the track man guy turns up. Yeah, he has. We need he, the track has man guy. he did say he would see me up here. So we'll, we'll is that James? Hope, James, yeah. Yeah, hopefully he'll be up here for that. So yeah, we might we might get that opportunity to in one of the practice days. Obviously, we're not going to do yeah. that before the tournament days, and then just see where see where the numbers are at. Um, and you know that 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 could work out quite nicely. Yeah. So worked our way over to this, what is a fantastic pitching short game area, isn't yep. it? Yeah, very nice. Could do some work on here, couldn't we? We're spending all day here. So what's the sort of thoughts when you come out here now then? So you've done your warm up, you've done a little bit of putting, you've yep. hit some balls on the range, you've now worked your way over to the short game area. What are yep. you kind of trying to do? Just practicing um, just random shots around the greens. Yep. Um, so a few bunker shots, a few little lob shots, yep. uh, different lies, different different rough, yep. um, different slopes, etc. Just trying to get a feel again. Um, because instantly I've noticed, because it's quite humid in the air, isn't yeah. it? Now the grass I could feel just even walking on it that it's mm -hmm. quite clammy. Mm -hmm. So the grass is is really sort of grabbing hold of the club a little bit. Is that again? Is those are the small things that you're trying to sort of dial into? Yeah, I mean you're just getting a feel, and you'll get that from playing the shots around the green. You get a feel of the moisture content, yeah, um, the the length of the grass, yeah, um, how firm the ground is yeah, around it. Because uh, because I've had a sneaky little chat with the course manager. Right. Okay. And he said that. The European Tour love their golf courses to be firm and fast. Right. Okay. So, um, so there's a little tip for you. Right. Also, yeah. bunker then. Yeah. Um, cool. That sleeper. That that would upset my shins if that one popped back, wouldn't it? You don't it? want to thin that one, do you? No. But what are you doing in the bunker? Uh, again, just trying different distances, different lengths yeah. uh, of shots, um, and just just getting a feel. Um, a feel for how the sand is playing. It's quite compact today. I think they may, may have had the sprinklers on or it's rained up here or something. And I know they haven't been raking bunkers anyway much because of the COVID stuff. So, Well, you say that. Right. Again, I've had an insight. Mm -hmm. And European Tour like their bunkers to be firm. Okay. So nice and solid underneath. So yeah. he's compacting them down to okay. give a nice firm base. Uh, so I feel that what you're seeing there now is very very similar to what we're going to get out on the golf course and yeah. what you're possibly going to get for next next week yeah um very different to what you would expect on a resort course like this one mm -hmm. but um yeah definitely slightly different to what we would get on general play i think yeah i prefer more compacted sand as well i've got low bounces on my clubs so that kind of that kind of helps me a little bit. Yeah, so it does. It and that's probably nice. why a lot of players on tour do have kind of lowish bounce on their clubs. Yeah, maybe. Or on their wedges compared to, let's say me, who I have generally quite a bit of bounce to quite a bit a of lot, help. Yeah. Um, just because of the situation that they they're faced week in week out on tour. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like the feel of what I've you know just tried in the bunker. It's nice. Yeah. So last little bit then, Paul. Yep. Hit some balls on the range. You've had some pitches and yep. chips and bunker shots. Yeah. Back onto the putting green before yep. you tee off. Yeah, we've got probably 15 minutes before we're about to tee off or okay. 20 minutes. So yep. um, just going to, again, just get a, a feel again for the, the pace of the greens. Maybe yep. knock in a few short putts as well. Just build the confidence up for, for holding out. Um, and just, yeah, just another opportunity really to get speed for the greens. Right, made our way to the first tee. So you're all warmed up yep. and you're all ready to go. Yep. How are you feeling now walking up onto that first tee? Think about now what you were feeling when you came to the BMW Championships. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I know there was a big crowd on the first tee. Mm -hmm. yep. um, I think I was more nervous than you were. Yeah, you definitely were. Yeah. Yep. And uh, obviously in this event, there's not going to be the crowds. No. There might be some camera people around. No. But how were you feeling at the BMW Championships that that, that day, that first yeah. hit? You, you are, you're definitely nervous. Um, but I think over the years I've learned how to deal with those nerves better. Um, so it doesn't, you, you always feel it, but it, you just, the best people at dealing with it, don't let it affect them. They just carry on as per normal and yeah. they, they trust in their abilities to still perform under the pressure. And I think that's the key. So I've had a few, moments like that where there's been a lot of people around and you've been hitting shots on tv etc etc so 
it's it's something you just get used to over time. The more you have of it, the more you the more you can handle it, definitely. So feeling good going into the first tee now? All warmed up, feeling yeah, feeling refreshed yeah. and uh, ready to take some money. Yeah, definitely. It's nice and warm today. I think yeah. it's about 24, 25 degrees. So. Yeah, it's lovely out here. Um, yeah, it's great, and, and just getting a start, an insight as to as to what it, what we're going to be faced with in a couple of weeks, and, and um, I'm really looking forward to it.